Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752. This is your daily go get number 877 for February 26, 2017. Tonight I want to talk to you all about a lengthy recovery. How long does it take you to recover from things? You know, when you talk about recovery time you, and when you're talking about an injury, an injury of any type, whether you're talking about physical, mental, or emotional, whatever, the time that it takes for you to recover is going to be different from anybody else who suffers the same injury. As a matter of fact, you can never really tell exactly if you have suffered the exact same injury as somebody else because of the way that everybody else is set up. So a broken bone may be a broken bone, but the placement of that break versus somebody else, like the, the point of impact for that break versus somebody else is not going to be the same. It just doesn't work that way. So like if you break your leg, maybe maybe one person broke it up high and the other person broke it down low and the other person broke it in the middle and different variations of up high, down low, and in the middle. Nobody has broken the bone the exact same way. So that's going to have an impact on the time that it takes to recover. And it all equals up to you broke your leg. They're not going to say, well, you broke the top portion of the leg or the lower portion of the leg or the middle part. It's still it's still your leg, and you still basically generally suffered the same injury as somebody else who broke their leg. But it's not the same thing. It's not the same way. And the way your body is set up, you don't, you don't have the same strength as another person. You don't have the same DNA makeup, genetic makeup. So the things that you have... Um, um, eaten the way you have conditioned your, your body is going to be different from somebody else's. So we give cookie cutter types of time frames as, uh, as far as what your recovery time is supposed to be. Like if you break a bone it's supposed to take six to eight weeks for it to heal. But what, the, what does heal mean, mean? You know, healing and recovery are they the same thing? Are they the same thing? I'm not really sure if they're the exact same thing. I think I need to put that question out, out there. Is healing and recovering the same thing? Because when you heal from something, that means it's done. It's like it never, it never happened before. It has been re, re, restored to whatever condition that it was in before. It's, it's as good as new. When you recover from something, that means that you were sick and you are operational again, but I'm not necessarily sure if you have healed. Like when you recover from a, a, a gunshot wound, does that necessarily mean that you have healed from a gunshot wound? Because some, some people suffer a gunshot wound and they still have the, the, the bullet inside of them. So they may have recovered from it, but how can you heal a wound where the object that caused the wound is still there. <clears throat> so there are different ways to look at this thing, and that's that's really what we have to consider. We have to take that into consideration. Now, physical wounds are one thing when you start talking about recovery time. And by the way, that six to eight week thing, does everybody heal up when it comes to a broken bone? Do, does everybody heal in exactly six to eight weeks? Do some people heal in like five weeks and then other people not heal, and heal for like 11 weeks? It can happen. I messed up my, my wrist last September and it's still not 100% what it used to be or what it was. It's still not. Maybe it's 80%, 85%. It's not 90. I've lost a lot. So, you know, that wasn't even a break. I just hurt it. It was like a sprain, but it got hurt pretty bad, and it's not as operational as it used to be, so I have to be careful with it because it's still taking time to heal. The healing time is way past six to eight weeks, but that's what we have to deal with. Now, physical wounds are one thing, like you talk about, you talk about breaks, cuts, Bruises, scrapes, scars, 
you know, and for, for whatever has happened to you, you may be able to physically recover from that. You may physically heal from that. But have you healed from what caused it? For example, a black guy doesn't take a very long time to heal from. You can be healed, fully healed from a black eye in a week. But what about what caused the black eye? What about the fear and the anxiety and the adrenaline that was going through your body when somebody was attacking you? They, they were trying to harm you. How long does it take to heal from that? Emotional wounds ain't no joke. Emotional wounds are no joke. And there is no projected or 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 definite healing time when it comes to an emotional wound. So people break a heart. Your heart gets broken. You suffer disappointment. Consistently and hab habitually. You keep getting disappointed or putting yourself in positions where you're disappointed. Well, how long does it take to heal from a broken heart? How long does it take to heal from disappointment? How long does it take to heal from never being shown love? How long does it take to heal from having your feelings hurt? How long does it take to heal from being embarrassed? How long does it take to heal or recover from humiliation? How long does it take to heal or recover from feeling worthless or being made to feel small, insignificant, unimportant? All of these are emotional wounds and scars. And some people never heal from this. They never recover. Recover. Some of these people haven't even been diagnosed. So they haven't been treated. Now, if a broken bone, if, if, a, if a bone gets broken, whether you treat it or not, it's going to heal. It may not heal right. But you will recover. And it will heal. You may walk funny. Same thing with your arms or legs or any other bone in your body. If you survive the wound, you will recover. You will heal. But will you will you be restored back to the condition that you were in? The same way as when you suffer from these emotional scars, will you ever be restored to the same condition? Because your mind doesn't forget. Your body is one thing. It goes back naturally to what it was supposed to be like because, you know, that's the only, that's his only job. But your mind, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, eh, it's hard to even pinpoint exactly where the beginning of that was because if you've been abused, if you've been abused all of your life, we don't know where your, where your beginning was. You may have to create a new beginning because the old beginning it somehow got wiped out and in the beginning. You already got started off on the wrong foot and you may have to build yourself into a brand new person. But that won't heal all of the emotional scars that you have suffered. It's tough. So, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with people and, and you, you care about them and you want to help them out, you have to take their personal stories into consideration. You have to take into account the things that they've been through. And you also have to take, take into account the things that you've learned, the way that you've grown, the way that you've been shown how to do things and where you come from. And you have to get to know yourself. Because the, because the more you get to know yourself and understand yourself and what your capabilities are, the more likely you are to be more sympathetic to somebody else's struggle. And hopefully you will be sympathetic to somebody else's struggle because I'm sure that's, that that's what you would want for somebody, that you would want for yourself. So we have to kind of be patient with each other and, um, and hope that somebody helps our wounds to recover. I mean, helps us to recover from our wounds and helps us to heal. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, when we're talking about recovery time, when we're talking about healing, you know, 
You know, we have to be we have to be cognizant of our own selves. We have to understand exactly where we come from, so we can try to help somebody else along who may be hurt more than we are. But there is no projected healing time on emotional wounds, emotional scars. You know, when we have been broken emotionally, mentally and emotionally, the recovery time is, you know what? I didn't even talk about death. How long does it take to recover from the pain of the death of a loved one? How long can it take? Shit is real, man. Mm. Mm. The Daily go get show is every single day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number is 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun752. Peace. And don't forget about Urban Therapy with Sun.com. Y'all have a good night. I'll holler at y'all later. Oh, and please share these videos, y'all. Share them, share them, share them, share them. Don't be shy about sharing. Sharing is not stealing. Sharing is caring. I need that. If y'all could do me that favor, I'd appreciate it. All right?